I just read an article that's really concerning for all of us. Sorry if I've been bringing you unpleasant news lately, but this is something you need to know. So, without further ado, fasten your pant and let's get started. Get ready for a mind-blowing plan that's set to roll out just two months before the 2024 US presidential election. Brace yourself, because if there's a major global shock, the United Nations could swoop in and take control of the entire world. I know, it sounds like a cheesy sci-fi flick, but believe it or not, this is what they're proposing, and the US government is fully on board with this sneaky scheme. The worst part is, the mainstream media in the US is keeping it hush-hush, so, most folks have no clue what's going down. The Federalist, an online publication, was the first to blow the lid off this outrageous plan. It should be front-page news across the nation. But guess what? It's not. Come next September, global leaders will gather for the summit of the future. And at this gathering, UN member states are slated to adopt a pact for the future. In September 2024, less than two months before the next US presidential election, the United Nations will host a landmark summit of the future, where member nations will adopt a pact for the future. The agreement will solidify numerous policy reforms offered by the UN over the past two years, as part of its sweeping Our Common Agenda platform. Although there are numerous radical proposals included in the agenda, perhaps none are more important than the UN plan for a new emergency platform, a stunning proposal to give the UN significant powers in the event of future global shocks, such as another worldwide pandemic. You can find all the details about the Summit of the Future and the Pact for the Future right on the official UN website. But, like always, the UN likes to hide the most alarming parts of their agenda by wrapping it in language about peace, education, and economic growth. However, if you dig deep on their website, they actually admit that one of the goals of the Summit of the Future is to establish a stronger international response strategy for major global shocks. They want to make the most of the Secretary General's ability to bring people together in emergencies through something called an emergency platform. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is this emergency platform they're talking about? Well, a policy paper published by the UN a few months ago reveals some really troubling information. Many of the details of the UN emergency platform were laid out in a March 2023 policy paper titled Strengthening the International Response to Complex Global Shocks, an Emergency Platform. In the paper, the UN Secretary General writes, I propose that the General Assembly provide the Secretary General and the United Nations system with a standing authority to convene and operationalize automatically an emergency platform in the event of a future complex global shock of sufficient scale, severity, and reach. Once triggered, the emergency platform would give the UN the ability to actively promote and drive an international response that places the principles of equity and solidarity at the center of its work. The UN would bring together the stakeholders of the world, including academics, governments, private sector actors, and international financial institutions, to ensure there is a unified global response to the crisis. But hold on a second, that's not exactly what we should be signing up for. If there's a major global shock, the last thing we want is for the UN to have the authority to ensure a unified global response to the crisis. No thanks. Now, you might be wondering what kind of global shock would trigger these emergency powers. Well, according to the policy paper, it could be a future pandemic, a major event in outer space, or even unforeseen risks. The paper gives several examples of what could trigger the emergency authority, including major climatic event, future pandemic risks, a global digital connectivity disruption, major event in outer space, and generic unforeseen risks black swan events. In simpler terms, whether or not these emergency powers could be utilized would be subject to interpretation. 
And it turns out that once these emergency powers have been activated, the UN would have authority to keep extending them indefinitely. The UN would also reserve the right to extend the emergency as they see fit. Although the duration of the emergency platform would initially be set for a finite period, at the end of that period, the Secretary General could extend the work of an emergency platform if required, according to the United Nations' own policy proposal. So, once enacted, the UN could continue to seize control as long as they want, basically, indefinitely. This is reminiscent of how Emperor Palpatine seized power in the Star Wars movies. He was granted emergency powers by the Senate, and he never relinquished them. Interestingly enough, the US government seems to be quite supportive of all this. In fact, the administration has publicly endorsed this new proposal on multiple occasions. The Federalist Report notes that the Biden administration has backed the proposal on multiple occasions, prompting reporter Justin Haskins to warn that, if the emergency platform is approved, the United States as we know it could cease to exist. Spread the word far and wide, folks, because it's crucial that all Americans grasp the reality of what's unfolding. Luckily, the summit of the future isn't until September 2024. However, mark your calendars for September 2023, when the 2023 SDG Summit will be held right in the heart of New York City. Here's a snippet from the official UN webpage about the summit. The 2023 SDG Summit will take place on 18-19 September 2023 in New York. It will mark the beginning of a new phase of accelerated progress towards the Sustainable Development Goals, with high-level political guidance on transformative and accelerated actions leading up to 2030. Convened by the President of the General Assembly, the summit will mark the halfway point to the deadline set for achieving the 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals. It will be the centerpiece of the high-level week of the General Assembly. It will respond to the impact of multiple and interlocking crises facing the world and is expected to reignite a sense of hope, optimism, and enthusiasm for the 2030 Agenda. We're just a little over seven years away from 2030, and the UN is reminding global leaders to stay committed to implementing the 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals. At first glance, these goals may seem harmless, but if you dive into the nitty-gritty, you'll discover that they're actually a blueprint for constructing a far-left globalist utopia. It's absolute madness, I tell you. These globalists are already wreaking havoc, and now they want us to hand over unprecedented emergency powers to the UN. Well, needless to say, giving them even more control isn't going to lead us down a good path. If we have any intentions of objecting to their actions, the time to rise up and speak out is right now. Unfortunately, the sad truth is that most Americans aren't even aware that any of this is happening. It's as if no one is even talking about it. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.